Hello and welcome back to round two of our Tuesday night modern league. Mono green scrub, we need to work on that, you know? We need to get some top deck playing that, some top deck merch. I know we have some shirts. I'm not sure if anything else. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna have an interesting one here. We have Robert playing some Bring to Light Scape Shift. The worst version of Scape Shift, in my opinion. Then we have Brent playing Mardu Tokens. Like, uh, for those of you that haven't seen the deck, it's a uh, Caleb D special. It is eight Pyromancer dot deck. So you have four young Pyromancer. Then you also have four Hero of Precinct one. Uh, that's the new card from Rivals of Ixalan. It's a two mana two two, I believe. Then whenever you cast a multicolored spell. Not Rivals, um, sorry, uh, Ravnica yeah, Allegiance. Okay, it's a 2 mana 2-2 two two that whenever you cast a multicolored spell, you get a 1-1. One one. So if you're casting Lightning Helix and Colligan's Command, you're getting two 1-1s one plus their added effect. It's pretty nice. It's a, ni uh, it's a solid value engine. Brent's been doing pretty well with it the last couple times we've played it, and I'm interested to see what's up. Godless Shrine tapped pass. I feel like that damnation is going to be important in this game that Robert just drew. If he can cast it, you never know. I mean, BLTs are good too. Probably better than what Robert's doing. Bacon's a good combo. Whenever I hear bacon, I just think back to the uh, Adventure Time uh, days with Jake just making uh, uh, making bacon pancakes, bacon making bacon pancakes. It's all here. It's all here forever. So what's a uh, rough BLT scape shift scamwich? You know, Rinro, it's pretty fun as funny you say that because Robert has eaten a scape shift sandwich. <laughs> No, it was a Valakut sandwich. Best budget modern deck. I'm going with black white tokens. In my opinion, that's just real, like a real good, like interactive deck. I, I think mono blue fish is also pretty good. Matthew likes his heartless summoning infinite combos. Sure, sure. Jeez. I see a Nahiri in Brent's hand. I wonder if he's got the other half. The uh, I wonder if Nahiri is just value or does Nahiri actually get Emrakul? Just value? Ah, jeez. Can, can it be $800? How? I guess like Thought Seasons and Bitter Blossoms. You don't really need all those cards though. You can build any deck to be expensive, though, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, so the idea is you have two scape shifts in your deck, and you have four Bring the Lights, and then Bring the Light gives you this toolbox-esque tool kind of effect. So you can just play a bunch of instant sorceries and creatures that are just, like, good for what you may need them for. So Robert has three different uh, board wipes in his deck because of it. Uh, he also gets to play this like weird control game where he can just basically sit back and do nothing until his opponent taps out or shows him that he doesn't have any way to interact and just kill him with Bring the Light. Yeah, it's a very interesting tutor. Yeah, Robert was uh, telling me earlier, he only had three black sources in his deck, so the fact that he uh, has Damnation in his deck as well is uh, oh, fairly yeah, interesting. It's pretty awkward Let's to draw. Uh, I wonder what he's going to get. Uh, I'm imagining we're going to see Sunken Hollow, so he can start casting spells. That's a Watery Grave. That's eh, good, too. Blue-black land. 
He's going to cast his cryptic command. Counter, draw. Oh my god, yeah, cryptic. <laughs> I uh, forgot you Moods being cryptic counter command. draw. Then huh? Brent's going to get in for two. And we're going to pass back to Robert. He's going to get Robert's going to go down to nine. I guess uh, Brent was on the aggro plane to start with, just going straight up with stairs with the lightning bolts. If I had to guess, uh, Brent's figured out what Robert's trying to do, so you know you kind of want to be on the plan of get them dead when they're on the escape shift plan. The longer you give them, the more likely they are to just kill you. And Brent's playing this deck that's trying to be fair. Grow Spiral is such a good inclusion for the deck. Rob's one con is escape shift into Valakut, <laughs> or if you can't Valakut, the Molten Peanut fuel you out of the game, which we're about to see Robert do is cast escape shift or cast bring the light for escape shift. Uh, go get uh, escape shift. Go get Valakut and six lands, six mountains, and Brent's gonna take 18 damage. That's plan A for the bring the light escape shift deck. Plan B would be to win on the control route. So if Scape Shift and Valakut's not going to work, we we have Jace the Mind Sculptor to kill people. We have Snapcaster Beats to kill people. All right. Game one to Robert. Did that one pretty quick. Just five minutes. Last round took 30 minutes to uh, get through game one, so you know this is a nice refreshing pace. Oh, you too. I wish I could tell you cards in either deck that uh, each player would come in, but I can imagine Robert's going to take out his uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor in the matchup. I don't think Brent's going to be winning through with Nahiri either. Not as that value plan. I think Brent also has Soren Solemn Visitor. Uh, that one can be good. Uh, if he's on the play, I like Soren Solemn Visitor a little bit better than if he's on the draw. Uh, it looks like he's bringing in a bunch of Thoughtseize. Uh, Robert's showing me he's going to bring in Tireless Trackers, Rending Volley. I'm not sure why he's bringing in Rending Volley, but Anger of the Gods makes sense. He's gonna, Brent is going to go wide. I appreciate the uh, effort there. Uh, some thought seizes, fulminators. Okay, yeah, fulminators gonna be pretty good. And surgicals, yeah. Well, the old one-two punch of fulminator, surgical. That way you hit Valakut. It's highly unlikely that Robert ever puts a Valakut in play, so Brent's gonna have to go aggressively after mountains. So he's gonna have to like fulminator, steam vents, and hit like his two copies of steam vents or stomping ground. I think Robert has the most stomping ground, so if he can hit that one, that'd be a solid plan. Robert is probably going to go more board wipey, but uh, his I don't think he's going to give up on the escape shift plan. Replica, that's a good point. We have a giveaway tonight, and it's for a Commander 20... Yeah, Commander 2014. That's weird. Uh, Cyclonic Rift. Is it really 2014? Jeez, that's so long ago. I feel like this one just came out. Anyways, Cyclonic Rift. Uh, and if you want to enter, make sure to put explanation point. Uh, enter and the amount of points you want to enter. You get 25 points. You, know, you get 5 points for every 10 minutes you watch. Or 10 if you're a subscriber. You get 500 points for subscribing. I mean, that's 25 that's entries, right? That's and then you get 50 yeah, points for following. Really so right? at the very least, you could do that. Yeah. And we give you two chances at winning a free $15 card. Or you can do one point uh, for every bit that you cheer if you feel like, you know, throwing in a little bit more. Also, at the end of the month, you see that we're trying to give away a foil mana vault. We have to get all the way to 60 to get a foil mana vault, but we do have markers along the way. At 25 subscribers, we're going to give away one more shit on court. At 35 subscribers, we're going to give away two. At 45 subscribers, we're going to give away three. At 55 subscribers, we're going to give away a full play set to four different people. Not one person won in the full play set, but you know, four people will win at least one Richard on court. 
And then if we do make it to that final one, 60 points, we're going to give away this foil mana bolt. This foil mana bolt, I've been sitting here staring at for a month and a half. Boy, do I want somebody to get it. So I stopped holding it. All right. We're still shuffling up. You know, some days you just take five minutes to shuffle when your games take just as long. People like to shuffle. You know, you know what happens when people shuffle? We sing the shuffle song. If you don't know the shuffle song, that's disappointing. But you should sing along if you do. You'll learn it pretty quick. It goes like this. Shuffle song, do 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 do. Shuffle song, do 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 do. Look at Robert, he's shuffling. Do 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 do. Oh, geez, still shuffling. He really wants to make sure his deck is shuffled. He's got new katana sleeves. Really, really likes the new katana sleeves. Okay. I mean, so far, my impression of the katana sleeves have been KMC esque. They remind me of the KMC ones. Uh, I just don't know how they stand up to the test of time. And that's kind of what I'm waiting to see. Mono Green Scrub really wants his Cyclonic Rift. I like it. Alright, how are the hands? There's Colligan's Command, Land, Pass, no discard spell. There's a uh, Scape Shift. Now, if Brent is able to uh, slide in a surgical, he uh, discards spell into surgical there. That's going to be pretty good. It looks like that's what he's going to do. Well, he's going to be able to discard. Yep, he's a rending volley. I don't know what rending volley does, but he does have it. Uh, there's scape shift in his hand. He had both scape shifts in hand. Nice. Is he just letting him keep it? All right, in your draw step against the blue deck? That's a bold move, Cotton. I, know, I like what I'm seeing, but he is getting rid of cert, uh, scape shifts. I believe that's all of them, but now, at the very least, Brent gets to look through the deck. We're going to see some spicy meatballs in Robert's deck. I know that's Huntmaster. Um, I'm not, I still can't figure out what Rending Volley is for. Maybe he brought it in for Lingering Souls. Jace is still in the deck. And uh, Tireless Trackers are his win condition. And I don't know if you saw it, but there's a Nickel Bowls Ravager. It kills 6% of Brent's creatures? Oh, right. 66% of Brent's creatures. Really? So, I mean, it, bring, it kills the humans, right? Uh, the hero precinct ones. I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, so now Robert's playing like this awkward ramp strategy uh brent missing on lands ouch yeah i like this from robert not popping the tribe order he's not exactly sure what he's looking for he's not ramping to kill a velikut anymore he's got another land in hand i believe to cast cryptic if he needs to Missing a land there is just brutal. He really needs to stay on curve. Uh, hopefully he finds a land next turn uh, so it doesn't matter too much. Essentially just giving up the play draw. No, he's going on tireless tracker. That's much better. Now I understand what's happening. We're going to bolt in response. We're going to go find another land. Has Rob made it to the Pro Tour? Robert has not made it to the Pro Tour. He has made it to an RPTQ. Yeah, Robert's kind of like me. He doesn't play too much for Pro Tour as much as he plays for the Star City Circuit. Did we find a land yet? Ouch. We found a hero. Meadows is complaining about the sleeves now since the perfect fit pops out of the sleeve. Ooh, short sleeve. That is, that's not too good. You know, that's, that definitely can be a problem. So that's good to know. You know. Ooh, another tireless tracker. That is a, that is a timely one. One timely tireless tracker. He's up to three clues. Ooh, another land. All right, so 
Something Brent can do here is he can wait for Robert. He's only got one card in hand, so you can almost assuredly assume that Robert's going to crack one of them clues. And so you can just use the call against command in hand to discard and just kill the uh, tireless tracker. So Robert's essentially just playing off the top. Now, if Robert, if Brent goes to pass and Robert, you know, snuffs out the kills from the Colligan's command, or you know, exactly Colligan's command, he's going to uh, just untap. I guess if he's like worried about Lightning Bolt as well, he can just untap. So I like this Dreadbore from Brent. Yeah, I like this Dreadbore. You don't really want to let Robert on top of it. Yep. Surgical and Scape Shift uh, is going to make this game go long, so it does give Brent the opportunity to, you know, actually play the control deck. You can tell the clues are new. Draw. So search for tomorrow. Anger of the Gods. And I think land are currently the cards in Robert's hand. All right, all right. That's a that's a timely white source. I don't think it's gonna matter too much though. Two more snapcasters and your deck is done, and they should be here on Friday. That is that is so cool, a cute bunny. What deck was it that you were building? Uh, there is a Judas in the Mardu deck, Mono Green Scrub. Or at least there was. Just got control stuff. I like it. That is a deck that I am a fan of. All right. Now Brent's starting to flood out a little bit. He's going to need to stop drawing lands. He's going to have to like find something to actually sure. do now. Like his hero has <laughs> gone. Sure. Nothing too much matters. Robert's going to actually have to find, you know, a win condition as well. He's got es essentially three lands in hand right now. Yeah, Robert's just letting it resolve. He doesn't really care. He's going to take the 2-2 two -two beats for a couple turns. He's going to pass back, not showing that his hand is just garbage. Tide Hall of is going to come down and get absolutely nothing. Brent had to think about it, though. Robert's upset, throwing his lands on the ground. Thumping sound, tumble ground. I think Robert's trying to keep his... Uh, yeah, yeah, that is exactly what Robert's doing. He's playing the weird scape shift cryptic deck. Yeah, I think Robert's trying to keep the mountains in his hand in case he does draw a Valakut. Valakut is a little awkward with Fulminator, but he was... The idea was, like, He's got two mountains, and then he's got two fetch lands over there. So that's four mountains, and he's got two in hand. So he's uh, attempting to, you know, value the plan out. I believe he just drew Rending Volley for turn. I want to call his man, buy back hero, have him discard. So a cute bunny, uh, what tends to happen with Robert's deck is he really doesn't kill with Valakut uh, except for when he combos with Scape Shift. So uh, if he's not killing with uh, Valakut, he's just playing like this control deck with this really bad mana base. Or maybe not bad so much as greedy mana base. I believe we're gonna see, yeah. and yeah, the on, on turn two, Robert had his uh, escape shifts surgicaled, so Robert is a little uh, a little behind. Robert's down to a seven. We're gonna draw a cryptic. We are in fog draw territory. Robert loves the deck. That's all I can say about it in a positive way. I don't think it's too good of a deck, but Robert loves it. 
We're gonna go to combat. We're gonna fog draw. Damnation off the top. That's gonna keep Robert in the game. It's only a matter of time before you know he he had to draw not lands, right? Like realistically how many lands are in the scape shift deck. I mean, can't we just play them both? Can't do, can't we just have an eternal witness in this deck as well? You can search it out with Bring Delight. He went after blue source number three. Robert's empty handed. We're on top deck mode. Cabal is not going to be a bad one. Yeah, you missed the last turn where we were playing something similar. Well, last round we were playing something similar to Eternal Command. It was eerie interlude combo. Not really a combo as much as like a value. So that was a that was a nice one to see. There's so many basic lands in this deck too. It's just I don't understand. This has got eight mana searchers or like mana or like rampant growth esque effects. Sprint gun hand, land land. It's not even better. Uh, with no shifts, he's on the Jace uh, ultimate plan. He does have two trackers which have died. He's got a hunt master in the deck, and he has a nickel bolus ravager. All right. Best value is Gristlebrand. I mean, yeah, yeah. That is uh, that's a lot of value. What does he have? What is he doing? Are we are we bring to lighten? Bring to light for four. It looks like four C. Bring to light. All right. Uh, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Huntmaster, I bet you it's Bolus. Yeah. So, you know, Robert typically goes for the Huntmaster. I would believe Huntmaster since there is a Cabal out and gaining life is going to be pretty important. But, I mean, he does have the opportunity to flip the bolus as well. Neither is particularly good uh, if it gets answered. So, I guess he could scape shift for a snapcaster here or bring to life for a snapcaster, recast bring to light, and then get something else that way he has two. I mean, he, he ends up at three or five in the end. Yeah, I think Robert's really debating between them. I think he's getting the Hunt Master. Yeah, Robert really just doesn't have enough, you know, different things in his deck. All right, here's a Hunt Master. He goes back to seven. Second Cabal is pretty bad draw for Brent. Legendary creature is a legendary creature does. I would imagine Brent's still going to cast it just to keep the Huntmaster from flipping. I wonder if Robert's going to be able to control this Huntmaster to be able to keep it flipping and not flipping on each turn. Yep. Or, you know, in consecutive turns. It's like this feels so bad. I don't want to just play it out there. Attack, see what happens. If Robert goes for the double block here, oh, that'd be so nice. That's not good. It's not good, Mono Green Scrub. How are you gonna keep up with us? How are you gonna know how this game ends? Somebody, somebody, get that man's Twitter and keep him informed. Ooh, Teddy, thanks for the host. I mean, I think it's like your second favorite day possible because it's just me back here. You don't even have to worry about Kyle. And Robert's on stream right now. Like, 
everything you could ask for. All right, all right. My master just flipped. We dealt two to Brent. Brent's down to 18. Uh, what are we? What are we waiting for? We fast back. I think it looks like. Uh, I don't know what card is in Brent's hand that he's debating so hard. Probably I took out the Madcap package today. <laughs> oh, there's two lands. You wish that were so. I said a lot of things. What do you, What do you wish that were so? No idea what's in Brent's hand. It's taking so long. Whose turn are we on? Is that destructive revelry? Yeah, I think Robert brought the destructive revelry in, expecting it to be more like a Mardu Pyromancer plan. So he was scared of Blood Moons. Oh, Inquisition. Yeah, Inquisition's pretty awkward. Tell me later. Oh. Well, you know, hopefully, hopefully your data. Hopefully, you know, we can get everything turned around. Brent has been drawing brick after brick for so long. Uh, he does have a Soren Solemn Visitor. I think he would have taken it out here, not being able to really rely on four mana Planeswalkers to keep him in the game. Brent was lucky enough to, you know, snipe those scape shifts earlier on. Well, it's unfortunate, man. I was still thinking I was at five. Just keep your head up high, and, you know, th things will be able to, hopefully, you know, be able to work out. Uh, He's going to cast Fatal Push. Go nice. Four. He's going to trigger go down to four. Uh, We're going to look at the hand. There's a Destructive Reverie. We'll take it, because we have to. There's a Cryptic. Oh, yeah, no, no. All right. Pass. I wonder if Robert's just going to cast the... Uh, cryptic on like bounce shambling vent draw a card if he does it I guess he's not because if he if he did that he'd be able to flip the hunt master back and like keep control of the game with hunt master Robert being at eight I don't think there's too much reach that Brent can really get Robert drew a land for turn that's that's no good has Brent found anything better to do with his life yet We're animating. We're attacking. I know there's definitely two lands. I think there's a helix there. Uh, yeah. Is Robert really at four? Uh, shouldn't he be at a little bit more than four? Cabal triggers. I guess we missed something. At least I missed something. Bounce. You just replayed it. What, no. I think there's a lightning bolt in hand for Brent. Valakut the draw. Valakut the play. Anamorphos draws a new card. Robert found a kill spell for the Shambling Vent. Brent's got to be careful because if you cast another spell this turn, it is going to flip back that Huntmaster for Robert. You know, as long as Robert remembers. Oh, he blocked. Nice, and he bought back from Ball. Okay.
Did he find himself his nickel bolus and he flipped it? Ah, oh, jeez. This is a good cycle. He's going to buy back his hot master and go up to six life. This is, uh, this, this sure is a turn of events. Brent, you're so close. Let's see if we can just pull it out. Okay. So, double bolt. You dead. <laughs> nice. Robert, you know, finally found everything. Got him there. Brent, you know, tying, the, tying it up. We're going to get a nice game three. Woo. That was a, that was a game. So, where can we get this bring delight list? I'm sure we can get Robert to uh, send it to you. Why isn't Rob playing Boggles? I don't think Robert's played Boggles in his life. I don't think Robert owns Boggles. That's saying something. Sharima, I believe that we can get it up on the Top Deck website. Uh, we'll just have to talk to Robert and see if he can get it together for us. Robert's typically very, uh, very, very happy to... Uh, Give out his list. He loves helping people out. So, what's up, Paul? Nice to see you. Or you know, uh, re read from you. Oh boy, walked airplane. Thanks for the follow. That gives you 50 points towards our giveaway. So you know, if you're hoping to get yourself a cyclonic drift for your next commander game. Go ahead and hit uh, explanation point enter two to give yourself to get yourself in there. You get you a chance, you know. A free fifteen bucks is a free fifteen bucks, right? All you do is gotta watch, hit the follow button, you get some points. You know, everything adds up. All right, I think we're hitting that uh, point where we're at the shuffle song. Robert's off into space. Brent doesn't know what he's doing. Shuffle song, do 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 do. Shuffle song, do 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 do. Look at Robert. He's changing things. Doesn't want that card. Not very good. Shuffle song, do 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 do. Have we seen Kaya and Brent's deck and laughed at him for it? I have not seen Kaya yet in his deck, but boy, would that be a fun one. I know he. Uh, I know he had one pulled. Any fun jank tonight? I mean, we got Mardu tokens here. We had a. Uh, Eerie interlude combo round one. Bring delight is pretty fun, right? Right. Uh, I don't know what else we have around. Uh, I'll make sure to definitely check. He definitely has one. I mean, to be honest, Paul, I like that card a lot more than other people. So I don't know if uh, laughing at him is the correct thing that I'll do. Shuffle song, do 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 do. Look at him, still shuffling his deck. The downsides to paper magic, you run out, you know. Just gotta make sure your deck is, you know, sufficiently shuffled. Fun fact if you do it seven times, your deck should be sufficiently shuffled. That's riffle shuffle, by the way. You need seven riffle shuffles, your deck will be sufficiently shuffled. That's all you need. I've heard seven, it could be nine. I mean, honestly, just don't do it 30 times. That's all that matters to me. 30 times feels excessive. We have 17 minutes. It does look like Brent's got the uh, surgical in hand. I don't know if he's got a discard spell to go with it, though. Yep. For a standard playing card deck, which is 52 cards, seven perfect riffle shuffles puts it back in random order. Puts it back in the original order. What? I don't believe that's true. You're going to have to show me that trick then, if, if that's true, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to have to see that trick because that seems uh, pretty, pretty good.
Matthew's over here schooling me. All right, two mana. We're going to put, what, Steve out? Yep. This is going to be a turn three bolus. Learn magic, stack deck, question mark, profit. I mean, you profit for a little bit, and then you like you lose all respect from like all your friends, and you know, and depression sets in. Then you then you start losing a lot more than you profited, unless you're just like an actual psychopath. Then you should you probably learn you you probably don't lose anything, and that that's a that's a whole different world to live in. Yeah, you become Alex Burton Cheaty. You get band hammered and become a meme, the bad kind of meme. Yeah. Here we go. Discard spell into surgical. The one two punch. We are gonna see a you know, a bolus come down next turn. Hopefully Yeah, Nickel Bolus, the Ravager. Surgical too good, yeah. yeah. Surgical is very good versus all these combo decks. Uh, notably, uh, surgicaling the bring your lights does not mean that Robert doesn't have the out of, of just drawing scape shift at some point. Because there, that does mean there's still two in his deck, so he can just make it to uh, seven mana at this point and just scape shift. Looks like we're gonna see a dreadbore come down for Brent. It's a little awkward because he doesn't have another land. Oh, yeah, he does. I'm just blind. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of this bolus. We don't, we, don't, we don't need to deal with no dragon. Nope. We're on tap. We're going to draw. Maybe. You never know. Snapcaster bolus? Does that work? Yep. Nope, just pass back. Oh, here's a pyromancer. Okay. Here's my good man, Steve. Yep. He's not a land. Like I said, now we're to get into that danger zone where he could just draw, uh, where he could just draw escape shift and just kill Brent. Now, like, doesn't even matter what Brent did, game would just be over. Seventeen is not enough. Yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. There's Steve, there's a bolus, and there's a Misty in the graveyard. I believe that one I'm looking at. Yep. All right, there's no land. We're missing it. Staying alive. Snap steam vents in hand. All right, we still have snap and steam vents. Colleagues the man, break this, have you discard a card. So he's going to get a land from this guy, probably getting a swamp, trying to leave a mountain in his hand since he's got escape shift to draw to. That's a Pokemon. But really, it's a young pyromancy token. We're gonna attack for four, put Robert down to thirteen. So many K commands. I think that was only the first one he cast this game. Oh, there's another one in his hand. That's so many. Yeah, hopefully uh, Robert doesn't, you know, just completely whiff. He's got two more in hand. That's three in total. Maybe three? Jeez. Jeez. That is just brutal. He's going to play that. Tide Hollow Sculler. I think we're on the K command. Now he's going for Tide Hollow. That's not going to work out for him. I guess it's not going to be like bad for him. Well, here's this. Uh, yep. Yep. That's That's there. Uh, I guess we attack with 1-1 one, one and can ball now. Robert's in the Tuesday Night League, Opoa. He's wanting to win himself, uh, you know, he was wanting to win himself one of them top deck leagues. 
to get himself qualified for our Invitational in the summer. Yeah, the Mardu deck, I think, is running three. Uh, we he definitely has two. And I'm, you guys are telling me there's at least a third one in his hand, so. I uh, tend to believe you. Nice. We're at 69 viewers. If we can, you know, not get any more ever, that'd be great. I mean, I guess, I guess it would be great if we got more, but I, I still don't lose anyone at this point. Um, can we only be in intervals of 69? By intervals of 69, I mean 69, 169, 269, 369. That's the intervals I'm talking of. If I'm Brent, I'm kind of like snap surgicaling this uh, cryptic command to end a turn here. Ooh, a Valakut. Okay, command in, in response to that trigger. Okay, discard that to you. That's nine, six, seven, eight. Nine, he goes to seven, five. He's down to one. Any restore balance? Fortunately, I don't think so. I know uh, Scott, our judge, likes to play restore balance, but I haven't seen that one. If Brent sees a line, just surgical. Surgical. Sur surgical. No, you missed it. You're just going to put him to one. You're going to give him another draw step. No, he's got a Kelligan's man. She's going to kill him. I lied. Unless Robert drew exactly cryptic command. And then Robert would have got punished. Or Brent will get punished. All right, we're going to attack for what looks to be two, four, six, eight, put them to three. All right. Draw. Doesn't look scape shifty. Anger? That's an anger. Ooh. That's a good one. Trigger, you go to one. Colligan's command you. You did. Robert is dead as day or nails. That was a good game. I liked what I saw. The token deck looks sweet. Some timely uh, surgical, discard surgical combos definitely worked out for Brent there. Yeah. All right, so this round's gone long as well. And uh, if you haven't already, I would recommend joining our giveaway. If you don't want to do the subscription giveaway. Yeah, no, Robert, Robert failed to, uh, you know, top deck the scape shift. The fool. Des days and uh, yeah, we have subscription giveaway. If you want to do that, that'd be that'd be great. You know, just just for subscribing, you get put into a pool of giveaways. We have twelve, but if we get to twenty-five, uh, we'll give away one Richard on port. If we get to thirty-five, we're up to two. If we get to thirty-five, we're up to three. If we're up to forty-five, fifty-five, we get all four. I messed up numbers somewhere. Ah, there you go. Uh, and then we have Mana Vault. If we get all the way to 60, we're going to give away the Shiny I Mana Vault. No I really would like to get rid of the Shiny Mana Vault so I can stop staring at it. That's all of you that are concerned. Like eh, we'll break 100 eventually. Uh, uh, what, what else we got? So we're giving away the Cyclonic Rift tonight at 10 p.m. Uh, if you want to enter to try and win yourself this free 15 bucks, all you have to do is earn some points. To earn points, you get five points for every minute you watch. Oh, yeah, that's true. They are covering my face. I'll move. How about that? Uh, where do well, I go? Do where do we go? We'll hang out over here. There we go. Uh, you get five points for every ten minutes, or if you're a subscriber, you get ten. I'd subscribe, but mobile Twitch problem. You can't subscribe on mobile Twitch? I believe you can. Uh, you're in Westside. Uh, it's 8.21 p.m. here, Renro. 8.21 p.m. Uh, you have 500 points for subscribing. That gives you 25 entries to the Cyclonic Rift. You get 50 points for following. So that gives you two. I mean, that's all you gotta do is hit the follow button. And then you get one point for every bit that you cheer. So, I mean, at the very least, you can do, there's plenty of ways to get yourself some points. One dollar is a hundred, is four tickets. Yeah, one dollar worth a bit is four tickets. That's all you gotta do to enter. And it's nothing. Nothing. Uh, that's that's. Uh, yeah, we'll be giving away the Cyclonic Rift tonight at 10 p.m. So you know, make sure to get your entries in for there. 
keep in mind for the Rishudan ports and the Manavolt, we'll be giving away those March 1st is when the giveaway ends, so we'll choose it. We'll, we'll have the chosen winners right around there. And then one, one, one more chance to look at the Manavolt. I wish I could show you how shiny this is because, like, the cameras just don't do a very good, like, showing for this. Uh, if you want, you can follow me at uh, Giant Tortoise underscore at Twitter. If you want to follow the stream, we have, what is it, Twitch at Top Deck Prods? Is it Top Deck Prods? Is that where we are anymore? Twi Twitter is Top Deck Prods, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what that one is. So, you know, if you want to follow us there, uh, Insta is prods as well. I think most of them are all prods anymore. So, you know, that'd be cool. I will uh, be back shortly with round three. Uh, see you all then.